draw a line representing the principal axis. Mark the optical center O roughly in the center of the line. Using a ruler, mark two points to the right of O. F2 is let's say at 2 cm from O and 2F2 is double the distance. It's at 4 cm from O. Similarly, on the left side, mark F1 and 2F1 using the same distance. O is the optical center of the lens and F1 and F2 are the two principal foci of the lens. Now draw the convex lens. You can roughly sketch the lens or use a compass to draw the two arcs of the convex lens. Make sure that the lens is thin. Don't draw a thick lens. Rule 1. A ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus on the other side of the lens. Rule 2. A ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens goes straight. It emerges without any deviation. Rule 3. A ray of light passing through the focus after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis. Let's place the three rules that we have learnt for convex lens on our concept board. Can you see that rule 3 is exactly the opposite of rule 1? It's due to reversibility of light. The three rules. You can choose any two rules that are convenient for your diagram. Let's use rule 1. The ray which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction by the lens passes through the focus. So this is our first ray here. For the second ray, let's use rule 2. The ray which passes through the optical center goes straight through, undeviated. So what does the intersection of these two light rays represent? That's right, the image. It's the image of my head, the top of the object. Because we considered the light rays from the top of the object. So where is the feet of my image? It's on the principal axis. So you don't need to draw the light rays for the bottom of the image. Simply extend the top of the image to the principal axis and we get the bottom of the image. So as you can see, we found the position of my image here. So what are the properties of the image here for case 1? That's right, the image is real and inverted. It's diminished. And as you can see, the image is formed between F2 and 2F2. Now let me walk closer to the lens. I'm going to stand at 2F1 for our case 2. Once again, we need to use two out of the three rules. For the first ray, let's use rule 1. The ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the focus of the lens. For the second ray, we can use rule 2. The ray passing through the optical center of the lens goes straight through, undeviated. What are the properties of the image here? Can you see the symmetric nature of the diagram? I am standing at 2F1 and my image is formed at 2F2. The image height is the same as the object height, that's my height. And can you see that the image is real and inverted? It's a real image because it's formed by the intersection of the rays. Now I'm going to move closer to the lens. So we have our case 3 here, where the object 
is between f1 and 2f1. I would suggest you to pause the video here, draw the ray diagram and try to find the image yourself. Also write down the properties of the image formed. So what's the nature of the image you got? That's right. The correct answer is it's a real and inverted image that's magnified. Here's the ray diagram and as you can see, the position of the image is beyond 2f2. Next, I'll move ahead and stand at the focus of the convex lens. Again, we need to apply two out of the three rules. This is an interesting case because as you can see, the refracted rays are parallel. The refracted rays never meet. So where is our image formed? The image is far away, formed at infinity. The image is real and inverted and it's highly magnified. Now let's look at the final case where I move really close to the lens. The object, that is me, is between the optical center and the focus of the lens. Let's use rule 1 and rule 2 to draw the light rays from the top of the object. As you can see, the refracted rays here are divergent. So we need to produce them backwards to obtain our image. Wow! Can you see? The image is magnified here. So what are the properties of the image? The image is virtual and erect. It's magnified and it's formed behind the object. Do you know a use of convex lens for this case? That's right. It's used as a magnifying glass. 